From one trader moving the wedding back a year due to his losses, to another turning just $5,000 into $630,000 in a single month, we are going to go over the most outrageous trades of October. Infamous mod 1795 Seance does know that this is why he moved the wedding back a year. He is down by 99% or $21,018.44, with his chart going down very consistently except for that huge gain that somehow even put him in the green before before tanking back down. And now he's left with just $173.22, but hey, at least he's a 1%er in some regard. And he lost money from mostly weekly options and selling while down. His crypto account actually looks like the opposite, just not as much equity. Now the money he lost was predominantly his work bonus money and existing long term savings, minimal from his actual salary. He feels as though by posting this, he's turning over a stone and tending the gambling. He's an economics grad from a fairly prestigious university, so he knows better, just hasn't acted accordingly. Epic Sleeping just went from a Toyota to a Lambo. From 5k to 630k as he made a 12,300% gain on Lumen Technologies. Since then, he's moved the money to a real brokerage and is still in for 350k. In the past month, he's up by 12,330% or $625,116 bringing his account all the way up to $630,191.73. And as you can see from the chart, he made most of his gains in just a couple of days. On August the 5th, he bought around $19,000 worth of Lumen Technologies call options with a strike price at $7 and an expiration date on January the 17th of next year. At the time, the stock was trading at just $2.59, but on the next day, the company reported its Q2 earnings and because of a big job jump in business for its AI connectivity products, the stock jumped up by more than 150% in just 2 days. Which is why he started selling his calls the following day for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Kokui Runner just made a huge loss. He is down by 98% or $63,096 and is left with just $857.48. Now the most surprising thing about this chart is that it looks like he went all in on a single play and lost it all. In in reality though, he only had two small options contract buys that expired and just a mix of bad bets especially during the pandemic. He's trying to be more systematic in his approach moving forward and watch his position sizes. Cut losses quick too. To put this into perspective, he was running a very profitable business last 3 years and is quickly coming back to that so 63k should be easy. So now starts the journey to recoup 63k. 3CB2 wants to be called Lunar Man as he's up around $345,000 on Intuitive Machine Call Options with a striking price at $10 and an expiration date on December the 20th. He spent a total of $178,000 on this play, which was apparently risk free since he's the messiah and called everyday move on Lunar. Playful the White 1 to 6 just lost his savings. In fact, Snowflake ate his 7 year savings. He's down by 83% or $91,000, leaving him with just $17,000. $1,417.85 and at least judging by his chart, he lost most of the money on a single play right before he posted this loss. And despite Snowflake falling for almost a year now and being down by 50% from its highs, he is apparently still holding as he has a really strong feeling it will go to the moon in the next 3 months. In fact, he is so confident that he has his whole 401k in Snowflake. Having that said, his account dropped almost straight down because of multiple call options with different strike prices and expiration dates. Jokes aside, he really does believe that it's undervalued given its share in the data warehousing market. Data is not going anywhere and will only increase in volume. And the only real competitor is Databricks which he favors over Snowflake but it's not public yet. Logs40W is making an Intel public service announcement. He turned just $200 into 20k with zero day expiry options. So he would like to publicly thank the well regarded seller of these options. He bought the Intel cars with a strike price at $21.50 at an average price of just 1 cent. And with Intel stock jumping up by almost 10% at the end of the day on September the 20th, he was quickly up by more than 9000% bringing his position value to $18,400. But how did he know Intel was going to make that sudden move up? Well, if you really want to know, he's been seeing major volatility on Intel at the end of the day the last few days. The 
day before the trade, he sold his shares at $21.50 and as he was dreaming that night, Nana came to him and woke him up at like 5am Hawaii time with a strange FOMO feeling. He wanted to see if he made a bad move the day before and when he saw it was like $20.60 and the 2150s were going for a penny, his inner degenerate was awakened with Nana's spirit of aloha as they call it out there. He knew this could be the opportunity he was finally waiting for to buy him 20,000 coconuts. Ok application 6926's family doesn't know but his fellow regards have to. He lost $67,121.48 in the past month leaving him with negative $1,598.47. Yes, his account is in deficit. He started by being disciplined and buying long leaps and selling card calls, then he lost a ton of money on earnings, then he switched to puts and the stock had its best week in 2024. Luckily he's just 19 and has his own business, made that cent he came the first year and should double it next year. Now it's time to become a dividends David. Just kidding, he'll go back to full porting on zero day still expiry options as soon as he gets paid. Willy Dangerous 26 is finding it hard to say goodbye. He lost 98% of his money or $78,458 and is left with just $1,447.24. You see, he's an OG. He's had this account since February the 1st, 2016. Once he realized he couldn't make a dollar even if his life depended on it, he took a break from March 2022 to March 2024. Well, he should have never came back. Time to tap out fellow regards. That last $1,447 he needs to cover his transportation costs to Wendy's so don't tell him to play it. The total loss is more of a reflection of constantly depositing money into a small account and losing it. The big loss is coming from revenge trading. If he started with 80k, he's pretty sure he would be a millionaire now. He probably will come back at some point, but he definitely needs to take a break. At the moment, he's reached his max loss threshold before he risks affecting paying for his bills. In the past 3 months, he was actually on an uptrend and it literally just took 5 days to take him out. That's the scary part of this game. So yeah, he encourages you to manage risks on a daily basis. Bull on the moon is just so sad. He doesn't even have this amount to lose in the first place. He just wanted to 10x his initial investment and is done with this. He is down by 99.99% or $4,554.65 and is left with less than a dollar with 43 cents and he lost it because he sold Nvidia calls right before the rally. He sold Alibaba calls for a 65% loss and spy puts for the past two weeks have literally him. To make it worse, he just had a son and really thought he could try to make some extra income. Now he feels like he up completely. Trying to make it back, he's going all in on his last $800 paycheck on Friday. Frosty Hold 5279 just posted roughly 2 years of following Wasted Bad Degenerates on options trades. His first trade was with just $117 on which he lost $323. But on the next one, he went in with almost $5000 and rode it all the way up to $81,000. He made countless more trades, closing a lot of them for $0. In fact, he made a loss on roughly half of his trades, but he made so much money on the gains that they completely offset the losses. In the end, he made a total gain of $195,509. In terms of strategy, a lot of these losers are from stupid DD posts on this thread. Most of the winners are just from him thinking a stock got unfairly beat up after a piece of news. Like the logic calls for 405% were just because the stock tanked after the submarine imploded. The media blamed Logitech controller and he thought that was regarded, so he bought short term calls back to their average and it printed pretty quick. He has owned a bunch of stocks for a long time and didn't want to show total portfolio value, because it sort of takes away from only the options activity. He has roughly 650k in the market right now and tries not to have more than 30k in options exposure at any given time. Lastly, he just lets the losers run to expiration because he's hoping for big news 
shoes and then he forgets to sell them. For the winners, he lost out a lot on being greedy, but many times when it's over 100%, he'll take out his investment and just roll with the house money. Most of the time, these negative 100% positions were up considerably well before expiration, and he was too greedy to sell and take some money off the table. Championship lose 446 lost 12k of his mom's savings as a college student. On the all-time chart, he's down by $12,297.41, but to be fair, it looked like he was about to make a gain before he lost it all. This has been a culmination of what he finally realized was a gambling addiction. Luckily, he makes enough money that this isn't a big loss, but he did feel like after a while. Gambling addictions are a sickness, where you tell yourself you'll make the money back, but you won't. He's a college student, so he's glad he learned sooner rather than later. Learn from him and just buy shares. He has made all of this back on another account and has been able to repay his mother's money plus more from fully buying shares of stocks and holding. He's at a place where he's passed this and has learned his lesson. He wants others who are struggling with this to read this post and understand that even when you down by 12k or more, people always recover from bad financial decisions. Sparty1983 is a first time millionaire thanks to China, thanks to Alibaba. He bought $721,000 worth of Alibaba shares and with him being up by $285,000, he brought his account value to $1,024,169. He had so much money to invest in the first place because of 20 years of savings and sound investing. He went regard a few years ago go to accelerate retirement and he actually lost money. He recouped some of it in Max 7 and threw everything at Alibaba back in December, when he realized how undervalued it is. And if you want to see the most savage Wall Street Bets trades of summer, click on the video just popped up. If you like my content, make sure to subscribe and thanks for watching.